Shalom Ufracha. When Moshe Rabbeinu is asked by Kodesh Baruch Hu in Pashas Pinchas to appoint a new leader over the Jewish people, then Hashem also identifies the new leader, Yoshua bin Nun. Ish Asher Ruach Bo, a man with spirit, a man with elevation. And the question is, why not Pinchas? Pinchas is the man of the moment. He is the person that's able to come with great courage to save the Jewish people when nobody else was ready to do it. And he stops the Magaifa, the plague that had already begun to strike against the people. Why Yeshua and not Pinchas? The simple answer to this is that Pinchas was a Kanai. A Kanai is a zealot. And zealots work outside of the establishment, outside of the framing of the establishment, the institutions, the halacha. The Rambam says, if Pinchas would have asked in Beistin, should I do this or shouldn't I do this? Then Beistin would be unable to approve his actions. It has to be outside of the ordinary framing. If Zimri, Pinchas' victim, would have turned around and killed Pinchas, Zimri would have been exempt from any punishment because Pinchas was pursuing him outside of the ordinary framing of Halacha. So Pinchas, as a zealot, had to work, had to do his calling outside of the establishment and not within it. And therefore, he wasn't appointable as a leader of the Jewish people. The same is true of the entire tribe of Pinchas, the tribe of Levi. Levi is a tribe of zealotry. From the beginning, Levi, together with Shimon, they execute the entire city of Shechem in order to save their sister Dina. And Yaakov Avinu says in response to this, he says they shall be scattered among the Jewish people. They won't have a portion within the land of Israel. And what does that mean, not having a portion? You're not a part of the establishment. Levi was able to rectify that initial misdeed of killing the entire city of Shechem by using the very same disposition, the very same character trait for the good in partnership with Moshe Rabbeinu after the Chet Egal, or Pinchas as somebody hailing from Levi in order to kill Zimri and to stop the plague, meaning Levi, the tribe of Levi, was able to harness, to channel this disposition for the good. And nevertheless, Levi remained outside of the establishment. Says the Ramban, the Chashmonaim, Hanukkah, they were punished for taking the mantle of the kingship over the Jewish people because it's not for them. Levi has to be outside of that establishment. They don't have a portion in the land. They have their own cities and they can absorb even somebody who inadvertently kills the inadvertent murderer who also strays, he goes outside of the correct channels. Nevertheless, he can find his rectification in the cities of the Levian. Now, this idea of zealotry is less relevant today in terms of Pinchas. His specific action is less relevant for our zealots. But that doesn't mean that there's no room for zealotry among the Jewish people, because of course there is. Yes, we need the stability of an establishment, of a leadership. We need institutions, we need rules and regulation, we need a rule of law, we need all of this. And nevertheless, there's still space for the zealot, for the kanai, for somebody who takes up the mantle of Pinchas. There's still space for him to do things that are outside of those ordinary channels, outside of the establishment for the benefit of the Jewish people that sometimes needs something that comes from outside, something that isn't a part of the establishment to bring something fresh, to bring a new energy, to bring a new initiative that wasn't there before. That's true for Eliyahu Navi in ancient times. It's true for the Baal Shem Tov, who understood the Jewish people needed something new and that the old system wasn't doing everything it needed for the Jewish people. It's true for somebody like Sarah Schneerer, who established Beis Yaakov when she realized that the girls of the Jewish people needed a new system of education and she understood that that's not going to come 
from the inside. It won't come from the establishment. It needs to come from the outside, from her, through a new channel that wasn't there before. And of course, it sparked a lot of objection, a lot of disagreement. Every Kanai, every zealot who works outside of the establishment is always going to place himself at risk. It's a perilous position. It's fraught with danger, just like Pinchas's action was fraught with danger. And nevertheless, until this very day, we need those individuals who are ready to act outside of the system, outside of the establishment, and bring the Jewish people to where they need to go. And ultimately, the establishment, of course, will be able to approve, like in all the cases above, and many others too. Ultimately, they become a part of the Jewish people itself, of the Jewish system itself, and a part of the process of the course that brings us to our ultimate destiny. May we reach it. Bimheira, Vermeini. We should all have a wonderful Shabbos.